All right. Hey there, YouTube. My name is Brian Kujai. I'm a Google certified trainer. And in this video, we're going to explore some advanced tips and topics using Google Docs. I have two previous videos, one for beginners and one for intermediate level users, if you'd like to check those out in the description below. But let's get started with the advanced tips. So the first is doc.new. And this is a really quick way to simply create a new Google Doc. Doc.new. And it will automatically create a new Google Doc. So just a quick way to create one. Next is to assign tasks using comments. So if you had several people working on the same document and let's say this was a to-do list, you could click add comment. And then as it says here, comment or add others with the at symbol. So if you put the at symbol, a list of names will pop up. Um, I won't show mine just for privacy sake, but then you can assign a certain task to individual people and I'll send them an email and then they can mark as done. So that's a pretty neat feature. Next is suggesting mode. So this is really great for English class, English teachers, or if you are just looking over a paper for someone, but currently up here, I'm in editing mode. But if we switch to suggesting mode, anything I do will show up in green and it will show up as a suggestion for the person that you are suggesting. So for example, if I was gonna get rid of this word, or if I was to add hello here, or if I might say add a new line here, all of those suggestions will show up in green. So that is suggesting mode. I'm gonna go back to editing, and then I'm gonna just, in this case, reject those suggestions. Next is the bookmarks feature, and this is really cool. So if you have a really long document, I've already added in a page two and a back to top, and you just are tired of scrolling through this really long document. This is gonna be a lifesaver. So let's say at the top here, I wanted to add a jump to page two. So this is just text, but where you want to jump to, and I say jump, because when I demonstrate this, it literally, the document moves quickly and kind of jumps to that spot. So you put your cursor before the line of text where you want it to jump. Then you go to insert bookmark. So now you've bookmarked kind of like you do a web website, but you've bookmarked a certain spot within the Google doc. Then you highlight the part that you want to click on to make it jump to there. So you highlight it and then you're going to do command K and under bookmarks, choose the one that you just made page two and then apply. So now check this out at the top. If I click on this bookmark, it will jump to the page two section. Now I also like to do this on a lot of my documents is I'll do a back to top to jump all the way back to the top. So again, put the cursor where you're jumping to. So insert bookmark, and then you do, you highlight back to top. And I said command K earlier, but you can also right click and say link. And then the drop down of bookmarks, Google Docs advanced tips apply. And now when you click this and click this, it will jump to the top. So that is the bookmark feature. Next is the get link. So a single Google Doc or anything with Google, Google Docs, Google Forms, Google Slides, it's technically a website. So when you're sharing the document, you're sharing whether someone can simply look at it, whether they can edit it or comment. So to get a link, you're gonna to go to share and then get link and then change to anyone with the link. So now there's these different features. Currently it's set to anyone with the link, so that's this up here, can view the document and then you can copy it. Uh, but you can change it to, they can only comment or they have full editing access. So there's different options. And then also this is restricted. So this is if you share with individual people. Generally, if you're sharing a public document, anyone with the link and view. Please note that if you are a school district or perhaps a business that has a domain with Google, your whole system is associated with Google, you might have more of these drop-down arrows. You might have something that says restrict only to your school district or only to your organization, but you will still have this anyone with the link. It might say public. So just know you might see a few more options. And then this is where you change it. Uh, most commonly, 
if you just want someone to look at it, you'll do anyone with the link view, copy link, and then done. So that is the get link feature. And then finally is add-ons. So these are little extra bonus things that you can literally add on to the Google Docs and enhance the experience. So you go up to add-ons and get add-ons. One that I really like if you are a musician or music teacher is flat for docs. So it allows you to insert basic music notation directly into the Google Doc, which is pretty cool. We have a video on that as well on just how to get that set up. And I'll put a link in the description below. So that's it for the advanced tips. I hope that these were helpful and have a fantastic day.